What's up guys? Welcome back. We got another fresh wrap coming in today. The whole entire Sprinter van is a new Mercedes Sprinter van. We're gonna wrap it from white to matte gray Avery. This thing's gonna turn out sick. We've taken off a lot of the parts. We're just a little bit late. So we already got started. Um, moving all the parts, door handles, mirrors, trim pieces. We just got started on the hood. So we're about to wrap this thing up and get it trimmed down. Uh, we got Zach over here on the driver's side. He's mopping out the corners in here and we're gonna be looking sweet. Check back in in just a couple of minutes. Quick little update, give you an idea. Zach's down here cutting in the bottom. We're just about done on this side. Got a couple more small pieces. I'm about to tackle the fender, and then we're gonna start on the other side and get this thing whipped out. Hey guys, Ryan. See, when the graphic designer comes out on a job, he gets to do gas caps. <laughs> I wrap gas caps. These guys stick with the big stuff. Hey, I... <laughs> hey but you gotta start somewhere. Right. Gas is the best. Zach, tell us why you put knifeless tape right here. Well, basically, because when you look at this van, there's, there's a dominant body line that drives going to be drawn to, so it's easier to hide a seam to where this looks as much as one full piece as you can, so that it looks like paint versus a half-ass final job having a seam here, so that you can maximize your 60-inch width. There we go. I'll show you the seam on the other side. You can't really see it um, if you were to just look at it over here. So if you look at this body, um, it's pretty hard to see a seam. Obviously, if you get up close, you can see it, but to a blind eye, you're, you know, no one's really gonna see that seam. Squeak, squeak, slow and steady. We bust out the, the good old, the good old Betty. Shout out Rat Betty. So what's the Rat Betty good for, Jesse? Show us what that uh, tool rat, looks the, like right Rat there. Betty's pretty cool, actually. I don't have a squeegee on this end, just because I have a different card I use for that, but this thing's great for jumping into corners, really. It's got a nice round corner at the right angle. Uh, these little rounded corners here allows you to tuck into different types of areas very easily. So you're rolling the squeegee onto the material instead of sliding it, which will end up stretching it, uh, tearing it. So this is a nice, easy tool to do a really good job. Uh, simple and quick and cheap. We like cheese. All right, Zach just finished up cutting out this rail. Not a trace of white under or on top. Looks good. Other side's finished. We got one more panel here and door panel. Jesse's up front working on the fender here. The hood's all done. Uh, we took the grill off, we still gotta do the grill. Uh, I think this side's almost, yeah, this side is done. Uh, still gotta do the roof and the back, but uh, we're, we're almost there. Couple pieces to go. What's up guys, we're just about done. I got a couple of the top pieces going down and we're just about finished. 
Got the back done, got the sides done. Zach's working on buttoning everything up over here. All right, guys, we just finished up the whole color change rack. We changed it from white to a matte metallic charcoal. And this thing turned out absolutely beautiful. The entire thing, hide the scenes, we took everything apart. Come on over, let me show you real quick. You can see lines, we hit everything in the doors up top and all in the actual body panel lines. So there is zero seam lines all the way across this entire van. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Go to our website, stickerstats.com, and like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.